फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल लर्न विद गिग्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू 15 पावर बी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वर रिसेंटली आस्क्ड एट टाटा कंसल्टेंसी सर्विसेज दैट इज टीसीएस दीस क्वेश्चंस वर प्रोवाइडेड टू मी बाय वन ऑफ माय कनेक्शंस ऑन लिंक्डइन ही बेसिकली सेंट मी अ मेल विद अ लिस्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस सो लेट्स सी दोस क्वेश्चन अलोंग विद देयर सॉल्यूशंस सो दैट इफ इट इज आस्क्ड इन योर इंटरव्यूज यू ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट इट and if you're new to the channel then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos because the content like this you will not find anywhere else on youtube at the same time you can also follow me on instagram learn with gigs where you will find job related updates regularly with short videos on data analytics domain and friends many of you ask me where to learn power bi from where to learn sql from where to learn excel from which can make you competent in the market from where basically you can get real time experience of the projects so for that i would recommend you to go for code basics data analyst bootcamp 2.0 this bootcamp is very affordable it cost rupees 6300 only and at the same time the quality of the content is very good that i can assure you of you will be learning all these things here first you will start with excel then power bi then sql then python and parallelly you will be taught about online credibility how online presence is important nowadays in the market they will guide you in resume preparation they will provide strategies to apply for the jobs in different companies they will help in interview preparation and they will also provide a virtual internship which which you can include in your resume too at the end after 4 months of hard work you will be job ready in the market so this is a brilliant boot camp to go for for a very affordable price i will provide the link of this boot camp in the description box of this video please do check it out now let's proceed with the interview questions let's start with the first one so tell the difference between calculated column and measures and how they are helpful while creating a report so how to answer this question so we have to mention two to three differences between these measures and calculated column let's start with calculated column calculated columns works on row context that means it does the calculation row by row whereas measures work on filter context okay that means they give the result on the fly that means whatever filters are applied it will generate the result according to that only okay the next difference is calculated column takes space in the model at the same time measures do not take any kind of space in the model so these two differences are very important to tell in front of the interviewer you can add one more since calculated column is physically present that means you can create a relationship with this column in the data model while since measures do not exist so we can't create any kind of relationship with the measures now the next question is that is the second question how will you improve your power bi reports performance so there are many points which you can tell for this question let me put it out few points you can say first of all we will check that the data types of all the columns in various tables that are loaded in power query is assigned properly or not if it is not assigned properly then it should be assigned properly because data type of the columns is very much responsible for creating a lot of space in the model next point what you can say is deletion of all the unnecessary columns present in different tables so as soon as you delete those columns which are not used anywhere in any of the visuals in your report your report performance will improve right the third point you can tell you can decrease the number of rows that you are pulling it from the source okay with the help of aggregation or by limiting the number of rows from the source itself fourth point you can tell that you can unselect the auto generate date and time calendar so basically from the file and settings options if it is not unchecked power bi will automatically generate a date table covering up all the year quarter month everything so which basically takes unnecessary space in the model and hence decreases the performance of the model so we should uncheck that option from files and options so this is another point then you can talk about dax measures so we should try to use variables within our dax code so like this five to six points you can mention for this particular question the next question is how many types of relations are there we can perform while creating data model in pbi so basically one to one one to many many to one and many to many relationships are there this is the cardinality basically so you have to talk about them and if if the interview asks any particular you can explain accordingly next question is what are the types of filtering you have used in your reports so you can talk about uh, visual level filter you can talk about page level filter report level filter drill through filter okay you can also talk about book mass if you have used book mass in 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 any kind of filtering 
so all these options you can discuss in filtering now the next question is if you are calculating total sales and you want to apply filter function inside the calculate function in inside the calculate column how it will work so basically filter function is not used directly in any of the dax codes right it is always nested it within a calculate function and what is the uh, function of uh, filter function filter function basically generates a subset of table so you all know in calculate function the second argument is the filter expression right so filter function is used there and it will help to optimize the dax code if it is used within or nested within the calculate function so you have to answer it like this and the next question is how many dashboard you have created till date and what are the objective of the dashboards so it is conditional to your own experience in general you should talk about 5 to 6 reports or that you have created end to end not less than that okay and if possible try to tell the objective of those of those reports as well okay this will create an impression in interviewer's mind and friends if you have watched the video till now then do hit the like button of this video because it is completely free for you and your one like will give me the motivation to create more videos like this now let's move on to the next question how will you decide that which are the matrix will be in the in the dashboard to show the things to stakeholders without getting any requirement from stakeholder okay so for this you have to have domain knowledge so whichever domain your report is based you have to have some knowledge prior knowledge about it so for that you can basically google it or you can learn or see some youtube videos right where you can learn about that domain and try to analyze what are the different types of general kpis used or general terms which are particularly used in that domain so with those terms with those kpis you can go ahead and and show the demo in front of the stakeholders without getting any prior information from them okay so in this way you can manage now, now the next question is what are bi direction relationship have you used them in your report so bi direction relationship is basically when you when you make your direction in both ways right so if i show you it is basically this direction this cross filter direction okay so it is single or both if it is made both if it is opted both then it is known as bi direction filter so bi direction filter we should not use in general because it decreases the performance of the report okay so you have to answer like this and if it is necessary to use the bi direction relationship for some kind of calculation in that way you can think about a work around which is by using cross filter dax function okay so by using cross filter dax function you can get the same kind of result which you will get if you will use a bi direction relationship i hope it is clear to you now now the next question is data modeling related questions were there on follow up of questions on on my answers so that is fine next question is difference between star schema and snowflake schema schema this is the one of the most common questions that is asked so you have to give some practical difference between them so if i you show you one screenshot so basically in a star schema a fact table is present at the center and dimension tables surround the fact table in the form of a star where dimension tables are connected to fact table using one to many relationship okay so this is the structural information of star schema and it is safer to use the star schema when 80% of the data is there in the fact table okay now if i talk about snowflake schema so basically when your dimension table are huge in size right when the master data is huge in size in, in that situation we what we do we normalize we split the dimension tables into multiple dimension tables so that we have less redundant data and our performance of the model increases so in this way you can answer this difference between star schema and snowflake schema now the next question is how many types of securities are there in power bi service so it is talking about basically row level security for you need to tell about row level security which is basically a way of restricting the access of the report on the basis of logged in user it is of two types st static row level security and dynamic row level security okay you have to talk about each of them individually if you know if you want to know in detail about them you can just youtube it you will learn the steps how to implement the static row level security you can watch video on dynamic row level security and the steps which is required to implement it the same kind of steps you have to repeat in front of the interviewer and in a practical way now let's move to the next question how many types or roles are available in power bi service and what was your role basically it is talking about power bi admin role member role contributor role or viewer role so as a power bi developer we generally get the access of member level okay so you can say i had a member level access where i could uh, create reports publish the reports 
do some kind of modifications even add users and users with viewer layer access i used to do as a power bi developer now moving on to the next question connecting different data sources with power bi especially ms sql that is sql server as database and sharepoint as well so basically through this question the interview wants to ask do you know how to integrate multiple sources in a single power bi report for example if you are using sql server database as well at the same time if you want to include sharepoint also as the source you know how to do that do you have any prior experience using that so if you have please tell that if you don't have then tell the generic information that you have if you have imported data in import mode from database then you can also include other data sources also like sharepoint if the data was database was connected with, with the direct query connectivity in that sense sharepoint connection was not possible so tell the answer like this way now the next question is if an excel file contain multiple sheets how will you import all of them in power bi i think this question it is trying to ask that if you have multiple uh, csv files how will you pull all of them in one go so to answer that you can talk about you will you will put that all those files in a separate folder and you will pull that folder in power query and once you will pull that folder in power query you can co click on combine files and once you will click on that combine files all the data from all these csv files will be uploaded immediately in power query so that thing you can say in front of the interviewer now the next question is help me to take you through the process you follow and create dashboard from scratch how you start basically in the real time how the things happen in actual i will tell you that so in any project there is one business analyst okay that business analyst works with the client directly so he is the one who connects with client and gathers the requirement okay and once he gathers the requirement understands the requirements he put it on a brd then that brd is shared to you as a developer as a power bi developer and also a meeting is conducted between you and and the business analyst the business analyst makes you understand all the all the requirements that is coming from client and if you have any kind of doubt you will ask from the business analyst and if if he is not unable to answer the question he will take those questions to the client and get back to you with all the answers so through brd you will start your analysis you will do all the analysis you will figure it out what are what are the data sources used which will be used what are the kpis that the user is wanting in the report on in different pages all those things you will analyze through the brd then in sequence you will pull the tables in power query okay do all the necessary transformation that is required as per the requirement load the tables model it in the data model tab and do the visualization and before visualization if any kind of uh, calculations is required using dax that means you will create measures you will create calculated columns if it is required in the brd once you will do that then finally with the help of different standard visuals present in the standard pen over here you will visualize the report and once everything is ready after a couple of days you will give a demo to the client so i hope whatever i have discussed all the things are clear to you so share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos <laughs>